Welcome, welcome everyone to another episode of Time for BL. This is the podcast where we review movies, TV shows, novels, and comics, all in the boys love genre. The end is here. The end is here. I am so sad. (sighs) I am also so very excited for the conclusion. I stayed off Twitter all day for this. Stayed off Twitter all day for this. (laughs) All right, let's go. (laughs) Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Uncle T is dead dead and Porsche had witnessed the murder of his parents and blacked out and forgot and now find out he's a kissing cousin (laughs) oh god like is he going to give the main family this information or all right so let me just pause here this is going to get a lot of pauses this episode all right so of course we backtrack and we see that Vegas drops um my dude Porsche off and basically says, yeah, the, the main family is getting weaker and uh, my dad's probably going to do something. <laughs> Who? So I'm just like, is Porsche going to warn them? Because at the end of the day, of course, he still loves Ken and is going to want to protect Ken. And I'm just like, is he going to warn Corin? Because he, at this point, I'm sure, like, despises Corin, um, you know, with his flashback and going, you know, he killed my parents. Um... <laughs> I just need to watch it shut up. But oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. I'm waiting for the big shootout. That's, that's, I, I want, I'm watching a gangster BL because I want gangster stuff to happen. Okay? And why is the gate just open? Where is he? Is he at his house? And oh yeah, you know what? He's at his house, isn't he? Like returning to the scene of the crime that you lived in for how many years? Oh, you do have your own motorcycle. Then why were you riding b- for Vegas? That's that's all I want to know. And now we know the origins of the tattoo. Oh my gosh, that is a uh, that is a really sweet way to show like the origins of the tattoo. And I'm really impressed with this little kid because usually kid actors are kind of annoying and. But I like when kid actors just act like kids. And that was just really a sweet moment between the mom and son, even though it's that, that short scene. Because I wonder how much time they had to work on chemistry with the kids and the um, parents in this. Because, of course, we're only going to really see the kids with the parents because they died when they were children. Um, but, yeah, like with the actors and the workshops that they did, they had so much time to work on chemistry. And especially everyone who came over from the first attempt at shooting the show, um, they also had time to work on chemistry. I think it was like three, four people came over. Ooh, how many did come over? But anyway, they all had time to work on their chemistry and build their chemistry as um, well. So I am kind of interested to know like what kind of workshop they did with the kids because um, to make sure that um, a certain chemistry comes off on camera. Or did they just like audition a bunch of kids with the um, actri- actress and the, yeah, the actress that they selected to play the mother and just saw how well she was with the, each kid and went off of that. Um, to choose who's gonna play um, young Porsche and young Porsche. Has this been one long shot all the way through from the gate to the swing to inside the house? Has this just been one long shot all the way through? Yep, putting yourself in there might help you remember what happened. But I would be claustrophobic. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. But yeah this whole thing is just done beautifully as well just following um porsche around as he's remembering things and going through memories and like figuring out putting together what actually happened to his parents (laughs) oh god i love this i love this like um even though porsche has like a gun on corn corn is still worried about porsche it's oh i love that I actually really love that. I love how that was done. That was that was actually really nice. 
<laughs> like in in the sense that it, it was done really well like to still show him caring like good idea great idea love it does ken know or was ken listening does ken know or was ken listening because ken ken is a fighting fully to get that gun away like that gun is pointing at your dad and you're not doing much right now okay before this finished playing out because i'm at the flashback scene i also was confused as to why corin would shoot his own sister and brother-in-law because throughout the entire series he seemed like a very patient person who really like understood to like take his time look at the entire situation and then act even the way he he every time he talks to um kin about something what is he doing he's playing chess with kin he is cutting an apple with kin he um with kim when he was sitting with kim you know kim brought him the food even though he's there smiling with kim and everything once kim leaves what does he do he turns and he starts checking the room because he knows his son and he just seemed like such a well thought out person that i was i actually was like did he really just shoot him <laughs> that makes no sense and so now seeing the full situation and seeing the brother there I can see what's the younger brother's name again oh darn I can't remember his name but I can see him being someone who just reacts look at the way he treats his sons look at the way he um like his anger grows in situations and he just like lashes out look at the way Vegas just lashes out he gets that from his father so I can, I can see now like yeah yeah he he would probably kill his little sister like well i'm just doing what needs to be done they disobeyed dad's orders i can see that i haven't played out the full scene but part of me feels like that's something he would do like thinking that he's seeking favor with his father but instead is losing favor with his older brother i can see that and even the way they're dressed he's in, why does he still have that damn scarf around his neck oh my god is that supposed to be an ascot anyway but look at the way he's dressed it kind of goes to the um minor family major family thing the major family they're wearing suits even tankun tankun is like always like dressed to the nine he always looks good oh my gosh but then when you look at like vegas and macau macau dressed like a little wannabe gangster like i i did not blame porsche in thinking that that was some maid's kid like <laughs> it makes sense for him to to see him like that with vegas he always looks like a sleazy strip club owner like one of those not not even a nice strip club one of those hole in the walls where none of the girls want to be there that strip club owner and <laughs> so like even here where you see him in the jeans jacket that stupid thing around his neck and then the older brother corn he's in like a dress shirt dress shoes all that it even shows right there is such a difference between them he's standing at the edge of the table kind of looming over while corn is sitting at the table and trying to reason with his brother-in-law like it this is just like the perfect image of Ah, so you've been trashed since day one, and that's why your children trash too. <laughs> it just it just really shows the difference between them. But it also makes me angry that Corn covered for his brother for the death of his uh sister's um husband. I haven't seen the full thing, so I don't know if he killed the sister. Maybe he didn't kill them at all. Maybe he was one of the bodyguards. Let's find out. But I do feel like he would cover for his brother, and it makes me sad because then it's like, so is it a blood brother adopted sister thing? Uh, which is sad. All right, let's continue. <laughs> yep, the daddy trash, the son trash, <laughs> and the youngest son gun. That's his name. Yes, that's what it was. I remember I was like looking through again um to make sure i got everyone's names correctly because not everyone's name gets said a lot um but for some reason i heard poe's name once and i never forgot it <laughs> um but <laughs> i think it's because of tinky winky dipsy la la po <laughs> i think that's why but anyway yes gun and i was like um is his name gun because he likes guns so like how did their dad name them is his dad um like 
I d- well, I don't know where corn would have come from because it's not spelt like corn that you eat. And it's kind of like a, a name that I guess is very a traditional nickname, it sounds like. And I'm guessing Gun is also. <laughs> but like, did he name him Gun because he likes guns? And then at first I was like, did he name him Corn because of the band Corn? I'm like, no, the band Corn would have come out after <laughs> his birth. So that makes no sense. Did he change his nickname to Corn? <laughs> but yeah, like, you're a gangster. You run a criminal empire and you name your child Gun. I mm, I now see that Gun did a good job naming his kids Vegas and Macau. He just went, I like to gamble. There we go. I was thinking that, oh my gosh. All right. So when I was watching it and I see him shoot the husband... I was like, well, I don't think he would he have the heart to shoot his sister, like especially since he has a picture of her on his mantle. I don't or up in his office, whatever it is. I don't think he would have the heart to shoot his sister unless he's just that psychotic. I mean, he is Vegas's dad. (laughs) So I was at first like, would he really do it? Let's find out. And I'm happy to know Gun has a moral bone somewhere in his body i guess um but um i also am like nampung died and left her children and at the same time i don't want to be like how dare she because she just lost her husband she's being forced to go back home to a criminal family who knows what the hell she's going through but I'm like, yo, you left your children alone. What if um, corn uh, or what if gun had decided to take your kids in and raise them in his minor family empire? Like, <laughs> and I get it. She wasn't thinking in the moment because she was just thinking she lost the love of her life. But yo, oh, uh, bad take, bad take, bad take. Um, <laughs> it just, ah, oh, Wow. That's so sad too, but they didn't, I'm glad they didn't show her death and I hope they don't at all throughout this as long as it is, um, self unaliving. Um, because I don't like the idea of shows and stuff showing something like, yeah, I'm okay with them showing shooting people, but I'm not okay with showing that even though they've already done that with Tawan. But like I, uh, I, I, I just wouldn't want to see that. Like it's just so sad. I think it's because she's an innocent. I wouldn't want to see that. It, um, don't. Uh, does anyone care about Tawan? Anyone? If you like Tawan, could you please explain to me why? Not the actor who plays Tawan. The character Tawan. No. Okay. <laughs> you see my point. Hold up. So was T not even their uncle? He just worked for the family and was supposed to raise them and protect them and instead gambled all the money away? You're telling me you couldn't have just replaced him? Like once you saw the like their income and stuff going down, going, hold up. What happened to all the money? I said, yo, get rid of this guy. <laughs> Somebody knew you go in, um, you are her, their mother's cousin and you're coming in to take care of them. Like, let, let, let's do that. Like you, you could have taken them way before he wasn't actually your uncle. I'm your uncle. I sent him there to take care of you, but he's not doing what I told him to do. And I want to make sure you guys get a better life. Like there are so many other things you sent this man to take care of, and you weren't keeping watch to make sure he was doing a good job. He wasted how much money? Like, he put them in debt? They were going to lose their house. They were, were they at? (sighs) His brother was contemplating leaving school. They were under so much stress as two young people who should never have been under that stress. And you couldn't have taken better care of them, sir? Sir, yo, <laughs> I love corn. I do, I do love him, but <laughs> I don't think 
why didn't you send that second guy, your, your secondhand man guy? Why you should have sent him to take care of them? He would have never let this happen. What was his name? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, Peter Knight. Peter Knight, send him. Yo, is this dude really having a heart attack right now? Is he having a heart attack now? Like, if he dies, and you're telling me he's gonna die, and Ken's just gonna take over, like it's don't don't be <laughs> yo ugh. don't be dramatic. Oh my gosh! And now they remember they have doctors in the hospital and don't need to keep people in hotel rooms. Doctors in the hospital, doctors in the house. <laughs> Oh my god, is he dead? Did he die? Y'all can't kill corn. I actually like him. Please don't be dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I just want to say something real quick. This is a bad time to do this. Like, they're finding out, you know, about their father. And this is really sad. But can we just talk about Kun's jacket real quick? Like, he, like I said, he always has the best outfits. I love, I need that jacket. Um, the pants... I don't need shiny pants, but the jacket with the chain and the black shirt underneath, like amazing combo, love it, beautiful. Like, oh, oh. I want Tankun stylist. I, I, I need it. But oh my gosh, this is very sad. I can't believe it. Why did they kill Court? <laughs> but Kin, Kin is taken over. Kin now leads the major family. I'm pretty sure is this what this is leading into. And when the minor family finds out, it all hell is about to break loose. So I guess I'm finally getting that shootout. <laughs> but also, can we now give Kun a gun? Like, cause he is, oh wait, no, maybe we shouldn't. He might actually be very broken down about this, which he should, like this sucks. I can't, I can't even decide. Do I want Kun to still get a gun or not? Cause he might just shoot everybody in that place, but he will protect his babies and uh, oh god this is so sad tong has been killing this character all season oh my gosh i love it i'm wondering if kim's about to come home because if all hell is breaking loose they need them gun skills <laughs> that he got <laughs> with this stupid ascot like this boy has been like thinking he's fancy for oh look at me i'm smoking a cigar I'm wearing a suit and i have an ascot I am so special. You look cheap. You see, like his men fear him. Look at the way, like he had put on that show for Porsche, which I am now understanding why, of course, they both were kind of wanting Porsche, um, which also is like, did he know it was Porsche when um, Porsche hit Macau? Oh, no, he didn't hit Macau, make Macau fall. Did he know it was Porsche then? Because... Or, or he eventually learned it was Porsche and he wanted Porsche to join them because it's his nephew, I guess. Um, but that whole show they put on for Porsche uh, Arm and um, Pete, like, look, we treat our bodyguards like family. And how you see the way the bodyguard bends down, like, in fear, like, I'm about to be punished, like, <laughs> like. He, his wrath goes to everyone and it's obvious. And it's like, ugh, this man is crazy. And of course, now that he knows he's, he, he's going to want to take power. That's all he wants. He wants power. He, and that's the problem with him. He doesn't know how to lead. Corn knew how to lead and uh, um, has been training um, Kin to lead the way he has led. Yo, this is going to be a long episode. I just realized that I'm only... 15 minutes in and i am almost 20 minutes into talking but he has been training um kin to lead for how long and to lead in the way he leads um and then we can see that kun also has his father's intelligence in the way he's able to look at everything and going yo this is what's going on it's obvious this is what's going on so let's just take care of it he just doesn't have the patience that kin has with all these situations um which sadly yes does make kin the better leading option even though i just want kun to go in and just take everybody out um and also we see it in kim with the cunning that he has in how he's approaching situations as well um but yeah like gun just is not a leader he's not a natural born leader he, he um i want to say he 
he only knows how to lead through fear and a person who leads through only fear and not loyalty will never have loyalty people will continue to turn their backs on them so oh my god all right yo let's get back into this let's just get back into this poison so it's not a heart attack he poisoned his brother you know it was him who poisoned his brother oh my gosh i wonder if they each have spies in each other's organizations i do i do wonder if like um kin has a spy in their organization too <laughs> like cleaning his gun getting ready for a shootout yo at the table this man is um uh, proposing treachery at the table i wanted to see how this was gonna go because i'm like there's about to be a meeting he has a bunch of the heads at the table let's see what they're gonna say because of course some people are gonna show their true colors we don't believe you're good enough so now that your dad who we feared more than you is gone or your dad who we believed in more than you is gone we're gonna go with his younger brother i knew that was gonna happen because it's a tv show but also because people are stupid <laughs> and like part of me is like he should just shoot them at the table like who's next <laughs> but that's a good time could move but um i'm sure uh he hopefully will show his intelligence in handling this situation but oh god i knew this was about to happen and i just feel sorry for porsche as well he's at his house holding his head sitting in a swing with his gun <laughs> And, um, you know, hopefully we'll come through and end like he's supposed to. Yo, really? At the table, in front of the man, proposing treachery. Like, oh yeah, let's get the minor family up in here. Like, why should give your ring to Mr. Gunn temporarily? Oh, shoot him! Shoot him! <laughs> Kill him in his seat. Destroy him. You have it. Yes! 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 Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Okay. I was like, he if he does not kill them now and just like turn around and look at everybody. Who's next? I mean Yes. That is what I wanna see. <laughs> oh anybody else have any suggestions? Do you have a suggestion for him? My suggestion is keep it going, boss. You got this. Oh my gosh, yo. Is this the spy? Please be the spy. It's not a Maserati. It's a Lexus. <laughs> Sorry. Who's driving the Lexus? A driver. <laughs> Who's coming out of the Lexus? It's gun. Do we care? No. Because it's gun and we don't like gun. So that means we don't like Lexus. <laughs> and here's daddy. I mean, Peter Knight. I mean, this guy. You shut up and know your place, Vegas. Everybody's just dying. Everybody is dying. <laughs> I love where they have the blood bags, you know, that go off because it's in some weird areas for some of them. Because I'm like, is he shooting them in the crotch? <laughs> hold up, hold up. I gotta pause this. I gotta pause this. So you're telling me my man gun, my man gun, plan this out. Like we're gonna go up to the main, the major family's house. All right. I'm gonna pull up in my Lexus. Y'all just roll up, walk up, run up, whatever. All right. Me and my son are going to come out and we're going to demand to go in. All right. Now, they might not let us in. They might just start a shootout right there. All right. So I'm going to pull my gun. Vegas going to pull his gun. We're going to kill these suckers. And I'm going to do it while wearing a scarf around my neck, a polo shirt, and some knee length shorts. I'm going to do it while wearing these things these exact things this man came to a gunfight dressed to go play golf did we interrupt your golf trip mr gun <laughs> like what stop killing him i love him oh no not another shot to his leg like, he, he isn't even wearing socks those are just slip-on shoes this man came to a gunfight. 
this is how you're gonna take over the organization you couldn't even wear bothered be bothered to wear a suit to take on the organization it, i just can't deal with you oh, no wonder you were given the minor family role at least they took out some of um their guys the minor families guys in their tacky and i love how this is where we're gonna be able to tell them apart one group is wearing really tacky outfits the other group are wearing suits that's how we know the difference <laughs> is that a smoke is that tear gas like you guys aren't wearing anything to protect yourselves from the tear gas and why are they just walking in and getting shot like uh, who trained these people okay stop real quick because that scene right there is the definition of the difference between the major family and the minor family po gets shot and what does kin do kin reaches to grab and pull him over the amount of care that the major family has for their bodyguards like it's straight up just this brotherly love all throughout that they have for all of them and like the amount of care they actually have for them and the amount of care that the bodyguards have for the major family you know vegas held a guy in front of him as a body shield pete i think it was who jumped in front of kin as a body shield they're willing to they actually are willing to risk their lives for the major family and that just like a oh, huge difference right there between the two of them oh my gosh and again one of the things i love that they show is just the improvement from the first episode to now with porsche because of course in the beginning he's just a college kid who is full of himself and deserves to be because he's really hot it makes sense um but now we're seeing like his competency and running in there with that gun and handling his own and um of course he has chosen his side and that's like a huge thing as well and it's it's just so good uh, i love the whole thing still can't aim barely but he could like he either he has the sight oh god she can you i was wondering if all their staff are trained or if it's just the bodyguards that are trained but she rolled out with her guns i love her why why is there a standoff like can we just like throw somebody else in there and get a mexican standoff i guess like what's with that loyalty 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 oh yes hug and shoot like this is beautiful why why is this make me happy like yes please keep hugging and shooting people y'all are in a shootout kin at the priorities i guess <laughs> but oh my gosh um i would say poor vegas but i don't really give a damn about him is that a grenade or is okay who i'm like are they really gonna be shooting like blowing stuff up and <laughs> How many guys did they just have waiting in the garage for this? Was that a machete? Oh, machete. I'm just saying, two guys are destroying all of their bodyguards. So, <laughs> these guys are basic. Vegas with the final blow. Vegas with the final blow. Again, Vegas just using people as his, his oh, and, and Quinn coming in with arm. Oh, God. But Vegas just using people as human shields. Like, Vegas does not give a damn about you. Stop working for him. The minor family will never care about you. But the major family, on the other hand. I'm also kind of pissed that arm is like in his little, um, I mean, he's doing his techie stuff and I love that. But at the same time, like arm is also such a good, um, like gunman. I wish he was out there taking people out as well. And she's back. Go Erica. Go Erica. I love me some Erica. She is. Oh my gosh. I want Erica to adopt me. Oh my God. She is the baddest in the building. Oh my gosh. They had a sleeper cell the whole time. Okay, I, I see it. I see Erica. He really was at the bar. Oh gosh, I hope they don't use that information. Oh. Did he put the headphones in the die? And of course he's wearing headphones, so that means he can't hear what's going on. Oh man. Oh, Kim is there. Okay. Kim is there. I'm like, he needs protection. He does have protection. Go Kim. Cause I'm like, cause one of the first things I'm thinking about is Vegas figured out 
exactly where Porsche is. So I'm like, if Porsche shows up, is Vegas gonna tell the men to go get Porsche? Which sucks because you're really going after a child, my guy. Like a child. But Kim is set. And I love me some Kim. <laughs> I love Kim. He he knows what he's doing. The bar is closed. Y'all need to leave before I kill all of you. Yo, <laughs> is Kim breakdancing? Is Jeff breakdancing to this? I heard bones crack. Ooh, that was a good sound effect still. Like, oh, pull them behind the bar. And that's how you get a gun? Did you already have a gun? Kim, don't tell me you, Kim, don't tell me you came all the way there without a gun. The guy was about to fall asleep. I woke up <laughs> when his head got grabbed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so he can't hear any of this. You're telling me you don't hear a gun going off over your game? Because, like, there's no way. <laughs> but Kim just in there protecting Porsche from everything. Not my Erica. Not my girl, Erica. Not my girl, Er And of course, it's this asshole. He looks like a reject Ken doll. That's what he's dressed like, a reject Ken doll. Look at you. Look at me, I have an ascot. Shut up. So he is like, okay, hold up. I'm gonna pause real quick, cause I just, I, I just, I need to swallow this. So he is still trying to get Porsche. Like, why do they want Porsche and Porsche so badly? Um, but he is still trying to get Porsche. So he obviously, maybe he just feels guilty about causing his sister's death. And um, because he feels guilty about that, he wants to take care of Porsche and Porsche, which goes back to the whole thing of if T was just acting up and acting a fool, why didn't you get Porsche and Porsche from the beginning? You know, like when you found out T was acting a fool, that did you even know T was acting a fool? Why didn't you go get them? Why didn't you bring them home with you if you actually gave a damn, even though I'm glad they didn't go with you because you are psychotic like your child children jeez oh god so he's saying it's the opposite way and i just can't see it because gun is just such an ass i can't see him being the patient talking to you one like but then again corn and gun are probably psychotic because of their own dad so who knows maybe he is telling the truth oh gosh i can't <laughs> Porsche just needs to remember who shot his dad. It's like, <laughs> all right. One of the reasons, though, I don't know if I believe Gun. I don't know who to believe because I'm thinking about the fact that Corn is the older brother. So of course, Corn would be the one sitting down and talking to him. And in everything we've seen, Corn seems to be the patient one. So it's hard for me to look at Gun and believe Gun because you're the younger brother. So I can see it more likely with you being the one standing to the side because your brother is being poised to take over the major family one and two and everything we've seen your brother is the cunning quiet one and that's why he was able to get to the levels that he's at you seem to be more brash and i only say that because of your son even though your son is pretty cunning and quiet too they are they just ooze like slyness and um um being unhinged <laughs> So that just automatically... Then again, what am I saying? Like, have... <laughs> Maybe y'all, all of y'all just messed up. <laughs> what? This is a show about gangsters. And I'm thinking one's more messed up than the other. Y'all are messed up. What am I talking about? Do y'all think maybe Gunn was in love with his foster sister? Do you think that's... A because think about the way he talks to Vegas about his mom. Do y'all think he was in love with his foster sister? I could see that. And that's why he still has a picture of her in his office. He is in love with her. Yo. So maybe Gunn is telling the truth. Because if I'm thinking about it, if I'm right. Because Corn has shown he's a liar. But if he is telling the truth... He was always in love with Nampung and probably why he's trying to take her home. Is that a possibility? Because they didn't show her death and, and I was like, well, if it's a suicide, I'm glad they didn't show her death. 
but now i'm like yeah this actually does make sense with it oh gosh and that's why gun wants to take porsche and porsche to take care of them <laughs> there shouldn't be a comedy scene within this but that was hilarious it was hilarious that thing blowing up in gun's face why are they chasing gun oh my i mean i would want to know the truth too like this is crazy it does in a sense make sense that gun if he really loved nampung and corn just doesn't love anyone because the way he talked about kin's mom and he was talking about your mother and it was the person i love and the, and the knife got rusty and blah. yeah it it could be that he really is that heartless that he would kill his own foster sister and he has proven he is a liar so i mean i'm just probably in the head shoot him in the head pete come on shoot him in the head no you're gonna help vegas aren't you you're gonna help vegas i can see it or punch him punching him is good i like punching him punch him again uh, so at what point did you fall in love with him when you kidnapped him when you beat him near death uh, what when when did the love start but also ooh, quick pause um yeah i'm like still thinking about the whole thing where gun is saying corn is the one who killed their parents and i'm like it also makes sense as to why he didn't go get them he didn't know they were still alive he thought they were dead and f of course he didn't recognize porsche or um know it was porsche in the beginning because again thought he was dead um and of course in the end wanted to get porsche to come Porsche and Porsche to come live with him so he could take care of them and who knows if he would actually he probably would treat them really nicely because if he did actually love their mom and treat her really nicely he probably would treat them nicely and take good care of them and not beat them up the way he beat Vegas the amount of dead bodies just laying around everywhere <laughs> do will they recycle them did this mofo just rise from the dead? Yo, their dad is way more fun. <gasps> she's alive! Yo, she's alive! She was never dead. He made them think their parents were dead. This man is messed up. This man is fucked up. Yo! Oh my gosh. They grew up with their, their parents because... Yo! Oh my god! I knew Corn was like probably an ass, but it's worse than I thought. <laughs> he just had her hidden in a secret room. What is she the only is he the only person she ever saw? He paid off the doctor to say he died? Like what <laughs> I now understand why Gun hates his guts. I now understand why Gun hates his guts. Oh my god! What is coming out? Whoa! Yo! This family is more messed up. <laughs> like, every time I think, like, I we've scratched the level. We understand what's going on. Man, they need a therapy session. Then it's like, oh wow, this is a deeper level. They need more therapy sessions. <laughs> this family, like, is he telling, who is telling the truth? Yo, this whole thing is ridiculous ridiculous part of me wants to like take a moment and pray about it <laughs> who do i pray to <laughs> why didn't you take her kids in secret as well i guess to make sure they lived a free life i don't know okay so he's still talking and stuff so one of the things i was contemplating of course when i found out that they were cousins um adopted cousin but whatever cousins um i i was wondering did nampung like have one third of the power and so the whole idea is whoever has nampung and her kids has majority leadership is that a thing like that is it that the family was always supposed to be split up in three i think i said this last week as well is it that the family was always always supposed to be split up in three and whoever has Porsche and Porsche has the majority. Um, so if, uh, you know, is it that they're fighting over power? Which makes sense. Which would explain why they're so, like, hung up on who gets Porsche. It, 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 it makes sense to me. Um, 
And now I need a plate to see if that's really what it is. Because I'm feeling like that's what it is. It's all about power. It's always about power with men. Oh, shit. Corn. Okay, I think I'm right. I think he killed him because Nampung has some kind of power. I I, I even haven't... I, I, I haven't even gone to the next level yet. I just stopped at gun getting shot with a gun. And I think it's about power. It has to be. Like, maybe, of course, there is love. Maybe Gun is the nicer one. I doubt it. But sure, maybe he is. I mean, actually, no, it's... It, it, could be possible he really is the nicer one um because a lot of really horrible people know how to make people like them and a lot of really not horrible people who are also not good because they're just not good they don't know how to make they don't have the charisma so they just turn out to be angles um i want that would corn shoot him to cover up the truth i feel like yes because that's something tankun would do and i feel like tankun got it from his father um this is i am oh, let's hit play <laughs> no man she must have some some say and sway that has to be it of course he's gonna protect his father your father is such a liar dude why i also feel like he's so manipulative i don't know if he's gonna tell him the truth i don't know what's the truth anymore i mean you could have just given them money you didn't have to go through you could have just given them money why couldn't you do that you could have just paid off all the bills you couldn't do that you could have just gotten rid of T just get rid of him and just give them a bunch of money like you came in into an inheritance <laughs> turns out your mother was rich <laughs> there's better ways your dad was abusive I know you have conflicting emotions Vegas but your dad was abusive I'm sure you can move on how did you find this room though how did you know where to, did you hear the gunshot <laughs> that echoed through the hallways what I, I i might need to go back because i swear there was blood on his neck where the chain was and now there's no blood on his neck i'm sorry that was just like a continue to continuity thing that i was thinking about was there blood on the neck and i'm mistaken or was there not uh, am i misremembering <laughs> is this a mandela effect in a show that i'm currently watching <laughs> He did say he wants you to be the one to kill him, so it's a good thing you're here to kill him. <laughs> so wait, did he fake his death because he knew his brother was gonna roll it? Like, what kind of plan did Corn? Corn is messed up. Like, I really do think he's that manipulative. Maybe Gun is telling the truth. <laughs> I don't know what to think anymore. He has me messed up. Like, I don't even know what. To think about life like is this a simulation <laughs> is the show real did i imagine everything how did he get that whole blood stain on his back he's been wearing a jacket where how oh was he lit oh yeah he was laying in a pool of blood i forgot about it yo props to the props department hold up because that like was the reminder like i'm like hold, why is there so much blood on his back that makes no sense he was laying in a pool of blood with all the bodies surrounding him when he and uh vegas had their little <laughs> tassel like oh my gosh and oh uh, we just out here forgiven vegas I, I noticed that too oh he got his redemption oh, god <laughs> uh for the vegas pete fans congratulations for the Vegas haters like me, life sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> also, does everyone know that the shootout is over? Does everyone know that gun is dead? Like, has it been announced yet? Because I'd still be scared of getting shot. <laughs> like, has it been gone through? Maybe those guys who left first. All right, gun is dead. We repeat, gun is dead. We're all good. We're all good. Cease fire. Cease fire. <laughs> you know, I quit my job <laughs> to come with you. <laughs> Like, I, I, they've ruined the pool scene for me. Because <laughs> they're by the pool. <laughs> oh, gosh. Why did he even bother pulling his gun? I don't understand. <laughs> um, I'm both crying. You got nothing left. You're going to be taken care of. You are now the leader of the minor family, aren't you? 
Or does it only pass to like a younger brother? Like, is Kim the leader of the minor family? How does it work? Hold up. <laughs> oh, he's hungry. Like, hungry for food or like, huh? Does he want noodles? <laughs> I I don't His dad just died <laughs> You're telling him that you're hungry Or ooh or is he begging for punishment like having him punish him to take out whatever is going on inside of him instead of killing himself taking it out on him Is that what we're doing? Uh at least it's consensual now I have uh yeah. <laughs> I just find my owner. Oh God! <laughs> like I feel sick. Like I I wouldn't feel sick if it was consensual from the start. But the fact that it started with a kidnapping, it's hard for me to look at this and go, Ah, yeah. Like this is so sweet. This is so cute. Like if it was consensual from the beginning, I'm like, Oh, this is so adorable. He's his pet. He's his owner. Buy him a dog collar. Like I'd be into it. I'm not into it <laughs> because uh, no I was actually worried that Pete got shot I, I, that my worry was that Pete got shot I'm not gonna lie I I was worried about Pete um this is so sad this is such a horrible situation I cannot believe this has happened to poor Pete, <laughs> at, at Vegas, to poor Pete, Vegas, I guess. Was he planning his brother's murder? Like you can, you can make anyone in charge of the second family that you choose. And oh God, no! Pointing Porsche, Porsche, don't take it. Don't take it. Did he want someone he can control in charge of the minor family? Is that what it was? I don't know who to believe. I have trust issues and Kin Porsche was the reason. How long how long has that dye been sitting in Porsche's hair? Like his head's not burning yet? Like how is his scalp not burning? Did they clean up the bodies? <laughs> how is this guy? Oh wow. Porsche's so innocent. Oh no, they did not clean up the bodies. Okay, he has now seen the um the terror that is laying before him oh my and kim's just smoking a cigarette so is it a requirement that if you're in charge of the minor family you have to wear tacky suits i i i my bad i didn't realize it was a requirement i thought it was just a fashion choice made by gun but no this this is just law apparently yeah, you remember when he joined and he didn't know what the hell he's doing? Now he's in charge of a criminal organization. <laughs> oh gosh, the growth of Porsche. How does Porsche feel about this? Like, you went from being a bodyguard to wearing tacky suits and being the head of the minor family. Kissing cousins! <laughs> cousins be kissing. I, I, yeah, yeah, they're not blood related, but I still sing it. At least Porsche, <laughs> poor Porsche, Porsche is back. Like, I wonder if Porsche is like, all right, are we leaving or are we staying? Do we want to be with them? We are gonna, what are we doing, bro? I'm, I'm just following you here. <laughs> this is really romantic with, I almost said Jeff and Barco. <laughs> I said it. Uh, but this is so romantic with Kim and Porsche. This is so sweet. Like sending him a recording. Does he know you killed those guys to protect them, by the way? the silence oh my gosh the silence after you know the video and um oh no i'm trying to pause you yes the silence after like you know porsche watches the video and then the silence after kim you know he has sent the video and that silence that that's just that was that was beautiful that was really beautiful like that whole thing um I still don't know how I feel. Like Corn still has me messed up though. No, I like I can't stop thinking about him. Like, yo, he has me messed up. I'm gonna have to rewatch everything. Cause this dude. Alright, let's get on this boat. <laughs> but also, I still can't believe Porsche got a back on a boat with Ken. <laughs> when does 
couldn't get a love interest because I don't like seeing him fifth wheel. <laughs> Why? Why Porsche's shirt so cut low? <laughs> Vegas lives. Ah, uh, what? Ah, uh, Deba. Uh, ah, of course. You can't kill him, can you? Of course he lives. Yo, is his name Paul or Poe? Because I've been calling him Poe this whole time. <gasps> oh my gosh, what is my tutu? Good kind of in carp costumes. <laughs> oh gosh. All the bodyguards just looking out into the distance, just in case you know anything comes to the ports, the boats. It's kind of just funny to watch. Like everybody's like just facing the water, <laughs> but doing their jobs, I guess. Also, Gun and T both never got to finish their sentences as to why um, Porsche should not trust the main family. He, they never got to finish their sentences. He's trying to get rid of the two families? Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Oh, God. All right. So uh, let me cover that real quick. So Corn um, saying victory is um, or history is written by the victor. Like, it just makes me go, all right, he's the liar. <laughs> he is the liar because he knows the power he holds um, and he knows how to manipulate. He, oh, man, this man is fucked up. So, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to believe Gun. Oh, gosh. But also, I just want to say, like, Ken, um, not Ken, ugh, Porsche and Porsche coming through the door, the way Porsche is holding Porsche's hand and everything, and Porsche is like, where is she? Like, that whole thing, that was just so cute, and that is just straight up, like, uh, the they chemistry as, you know, brothers really, like, shows, like, it really exudes off the show, um, because that, like, holding your hand, it's okay, stay close to me, let's go, everything's gonna be great, like, that, that, I felt it, and that's amazing, that's good, and I swear, <laughs> this better not end, end on a cliffhanger, I feel like, <laughs> oh gosh, all right, let's go, <laughs> let's go, I feel like she remembers, I don't feel like she has memory loss, I feel like she remembers, and she's just, like, pretending to have memory loss, I don't know, like, I don't, like, her face is, the way she uh, is she remember i don't know oh my god it feels like she wants to say something and she's not saying it what the hell i erica was the g oh my gosh erica made the mm. erica is top of the top of the top of the top i w oh. r.i.p erica <laughs> r.i.p erica I love her. Oh my gosh, she was amazing. Okay, how do I feel? Because there is no like, hey, here's what's happening next time. Um, oh, okay, we're getting a uh, Vegas Pete. So that's what's happening. All right, I'll gather my thoughts after this. <laughs> Hold up, pause. <laughs> You're no longer my pet. You're now the most important person in my life. Your brother. Your younger brother. Who is still in high school who you are now the caretaker of exists you have you has you has his eye brother your bro let's just watch the show and enjoy it's almost over <laughs> Macau watching <laughs> oh gosh I was like is Macau gonna wake up Macau is annoying I want him to hit his head again <sighs> okay. Vegas might be a competent big brother. Um, <laughs> but I would just like to say Kun is the best big brother. Okay, so final thoughts, because that was the final episode. Final thoughts. <sighs> I'm starting to think Corn is the worst person. I'm starting to think Corn is the worst person ever. Oh my gosh. Corn might actually be the worst person ever. This is sad for me. <laughs> This is really sad for me. Um, but I, 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 oh gosh. Um, yeah. <laughs> this was amazing through and through though. This was an amazing episode. This was an amazing series. They did everything so good. This is going to be the one to beat this year. Definitely. Um, like Bad Buddy like ended last year and started this year out like 
like at the top of the top of the game and King Porsche straight up right now just took over they're the one everyone is talking about like yeah people have talked about triage and um uh their, their doctor was disappointing to me but um their doctor and um other stuff that's out and that have come out but Kim Porsche has like held its own throughout um <laughs> this is straight up to me a great series to introduce people to bl who might like you know like mafia stories um you know like hey do you like godfather watch this <laughs> um 10 out of 10 series amazing acting across the board by everyone amazing casting amazing directing amazing editing um the props everything was done so well and the way erica like came out of nowhere for me that was the highlight of episode 14 showing that they have people throughout the entire well they didn't show people throughout the entire episode um the uh, entire building like just pull out their guns like no i am just the maid boom 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 which would have been awesome but they showed that they had other people uh, as well who are in the building who are competent and know what the hell is going on and know what the hell they're doing and the loyalty that people have to the main family because of how much they trust corn and um everything he's done really is also making me go man maybe he really is so good at manipulating people he knew how to manipulate loyalty out of people my man died with a cigarette in his mouth did they say he was dead no, he died on camera, right? Oh God, I'm gonna have to rewatch the whole episode. I have to rewatch the whole thing. I have to rewatch the whole series. This has just been amazing. This is top tier show, top tier everything. It is 10 out of 10. Highly recommend to everyone. Um, I don't even know what I can follow this up with for my next like because I definitely want to keep doing like a weekly show and I don't know what to follow this up with because I feel like this was the best of the best of the best that we've gotten so far I don't I can't see in my head which show is going to hold up against it I'm like maybe I can do check out because it's on episode five now and I'm like <laughs> I've been watching check out i've seen the first four episodes i'm still going what is this what are y'all doing and like i just don't think it's like the same way heartstopper right now for me is a top tier but no like even though heartstopper is top tier i found things to compare it to because i was like love mix up and um bad buddy the series i think are on the same level of Heartstopper, the series. So, yeah, there's nothing comparing to Kin Porsche and the the dedication that was put into it. There's nothing compared really to it right now. This was a top tier show, um, top tier everything. I I I hope drama is uh, resolved. <laughs> the drama resolve it resolve the drama um but yeah this this was amazing can um please sir may i have some more <laughs> i want more 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 um yeah this this is amazing i hopefully we'll see y'all next week with something new i i don't even know where to go from here because i feel like this is going to be the highlight of the entire year everybody is going to be doing their best to catch up with kin porsche the series as far as thai i want to say as far as thai bl but maybe even as far as asian bl well no because korea is on its own ish right now and japan been running the game I, I, you can't compete with japan in my book like they have they have that nice little space in my heart for a reason with um japanese bl um but yeah as far as thai, thai bl is concerned i think this has shown everyone what is a possibility and what they're capable of um, really putting out there to us as an audience and what we want um, because there was a lot of good and they changed a lot of stuff from the novel that I, I think was the perfect thing to do. 
I just made a one hour episode about Kim Porsche. Holy crap. I loved it. And I love you guys for tuning in every week and listening. Thank you guys so much for going through Kim Porsche with me and my up and down emotions. Um, and see you Wednesday for Wednesday episode where I talk about Korean BL. That's what the next episode is supposed to be about. Me just uh, ranting. It's it's going to be a, a, a rant episode. Um, yeah. So see you next time. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Love ya. We'll miss ya. And have a good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Bye. <laughs>